Thank you to Liquid IV and Harry's for sponsoring this video. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, welcome back. It is time for a brand new series. I have been hearing a lot of great feedback about, as a matter of fact, but before we jump into it, I am joined by my dear friend, Andorizio. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. I'm so excited. So excited. This is a really favorite show of my father's, oh. who also watched the original, I believe it came out in the 80s, and I love Hiroyuki Sanada. He's such a great damn actor, and y'all saw my last samurai reaction, so you know how much I adore this guy. I'm looking That's so right. forward to this That's show. Right, absolutely. Of course, we are talking about the new Hulu Shogun. Shogun. Uh, yeah, the, the re-adaptation of the book, and by proxy, the original miniseries. Since they dropped this as a two-part premiere, we're going to be reacting to both episodes here in the same video, and then talking about both at the end in one big review, so stick around for that, and then the rest will cover one at a time as they drop. This isn't a time in history I am the most knowledgeable on, so we're going to be learning alongside you guys, and if you guys have greater context, throw it down into the comments, Please. as well as leaving a like on the video if you're enjoying these reactions. Also, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get notified whenever one of these Shogun reactions or anything else drops here on the channel as well. Big thank you to the folks over at Prepper for helping us chop down these highlights. It is a task and we very much appreciate them for it as well. If you want to get the full Shogun experience alongside Andrew and myself, see everything that does not make these reaction highlight reels, come on over to patreon.com slash therealrejects. Sync up with your own copy. Enjoy Shogun with us as well as all the other shows and films over there that Greg and I cover with reaction highlights and watch-alongs included. Tees like these are available at rejectnationshop.com if you want to support the channel and, and coat your body in it simultaneously. Uh, yeah, Andrew, are you ready? I'm so ready. Let's do it. Let's go feudal. <sighs> I love uh, an old ship coming through the fog. Very much an aesthetic I am drawn to. Even though it seems like it would be horrible to actually be on. <laughs> it's a bleak opening. 1600, okay. For decades, Portuguese Catholics have richly profited from trade in Japan. They have kept its whereabouts hidden from their sworn enemies, the European Protestants. In Osaka, the reigning Taiko has died, leaving behind an heir too young to rule. Five warrior lords are now trapped in a bitter struggle. All of them seek the title that would make their power absolute. Wow. Okay. Everybody wants to be the Shogun. Huh? What are we measuring here? What you got? Captain. Huh? I was unable to take any celestial declinations due to the clouds. <laughs> yes, the clouds. Yes, we've had this conversation. However, white sand by the Mark 10. Okay. 10 fathoms. White sand in the tallow. That's for us. You see what you want to see. Well, the son of a bitch Spaniard's rutter was right about Magellan's past, was it not? Don't give it here. The cursed bastard thing has been the death of us all. Oh, it's a doom voyage. Time has come for you to start making plans. You have no food. As of tonight, no water. We'll make land. <laughs> as long as you have rum, you'll be fine. We'll reach the Japans. Japans? Uh -huh. That is the scurvy talking. <laughs> oh, boy. We'll lay claim to that dark land. Then it's back to Holland, having gone round the world. <laughs> and taken everything we could find. Five ships when we began. A crew of over 500. Wow. We are now barely a single vessel. At my age, you draw your line. End of the... That would be a coward's way out. Erasmus remains home to a dozen men still looking to you. Looking to oh. me for what? We cannot fulfill our mission. Don't you see there is nothing? There you have it. Jeeps. Ooh, that's dark. That's poor guy. Pilot, study to fear. It's a blessed release. Huh? That is the breath of the Almighty. He's calling us. Wow. Listen. Go toward the light, my son.
Digging this music, John. Yeah, it's got a lot of good atmosphere. Whoa. Oof. It's really incredible how effective that fading gunshot always is for me. I can't imagine what it must be like to make that walk. It's like you're so focused on the act itself, but in these scenes that do that, you're also just with the person in those moments <laughs> before, you know, finite decision is reached. Beautiful. Oh, he got the faith. Is that the ship coming? Yep. Ugh. God, man. Like the flying Dutchman showing up at your door. <laughs> right? Jeez, man. Hey, Davy Jones shows mercy. Just like, yeah, with the most ghost ship vibes. Oh. Two arms. Oh, wow, just man. Just crashed. Yeah, when you crash like that, I don't know if they pose too much of a threat, but better to be safe. Oh man, shoes like are bound together by twine. Wow, how bleak and dank. E. Bringing disease with them too, I'm sure. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Loving these flares, too. Yeah, it's like J.J. Abrams is directing it. Oh. Oh, man. Oh! I mean, you're already so low on energy, it's not going to take much to pass out. The undead. Oh. <laughs> Cursed apple of mechanized That's combat. That's a cool pan out shot, though. Yeah. Woo! Chapter one. It's a great prologue. Man. Yeah. I like these locations, though, so far. Wow. Whoa. I know there's a lot they can do with CG and stuff, obviously. Of course. It's always really impressive to see, yeah, these Physical landscapes recreated. Oh! Oof. The prey has been caught by the predator. Ah. Stealth warrior. Is that a falcon or a hawk? Can I guess hawk? But I'm not sure. It's Tony Hawk. Osaka Castle. Oh, dang. This guy's in, in Monarch. <laughs> the attention to detail alone so far is beautiful. Yeah. And it feels tangible. Like, I'm glad that it feels pretty real, at least. I always wonder, like, what's a location? What's a set that you built? What's being CG'd in to some degree, because there's probably a little bit of each. Wow. The scope, it's so beautiful. <sighs> and the light. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you too, man. <laughs> How do you really feel about this place? What are we doing? おざかいよ、お前らで。大老師になりかわりでおもしゃげる。なじみのない石地でござりまするな。しかるべき石地でござろう。ほら。虎中殿、太鼓様がお亡くなりになられて1年。その間我らはその方のご大老に立てつく振
ご心配とあらば重ねて申し上げまするそれがしは関東の領主で満足しておりますゆえ自ら乱そうなどとは思いもよらぬこと It's a strategic man, I like it オリシモケシャガタオヨツギノオハハギミガエドエシュタツナサレタオノノマイブレモナシンジュオチバノカタサマノイモトギミアグソクノヨメオザガデノオミノブジョタンポスベクヒトジチニナサレロ Damn Oh my god, I'm burning. So, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. God. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the h o And myself. <laughs> yeah, you knew it.、Ah. Oh no, dude, come on, man. Yes. Time out. Time out. <laughs> I appreciate your candor, but now is not the time. Yeah. I mean, he's probably right, but like, there's a time and place for this. I guess this would be the time. He's gonna take his own life. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no, is he gonna have to take his own life now? Uh oh. Oh man, no. Wow. Wow. Wow! Nani Tazo, Koyo Shakasari. Huh. Kiden no Kashin no Kayona Kodomo Jimita Rangios. Wow. Taiko Samano Goikoni Kizugasku. Dude, he just apologized. Damn, dude. Nano Kaina no Chibano Kata Samo Edo Karatoki Hanatario, Sonochi, Yokets Noite, Unushino Shogu o k i m i That's a tough position, man. How fragile the kind of counterbalances of power are. Tadayoshi no Yomeo, Unushino Magomusme dat. So y o u You shouldn't have a favorite grandchild, man. Yeah. Yeah. That is a tough position. <laughs> What's your plan, man? You're a man of honor and faith. I choose you. <laughs> There's just something about you I cannot deny. And your hero, Yuki s e n h a r a I'll follow you anywhere, sir. I'm curious to see the characters revealed because you're going to see them both in. Uh -oh. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to see people like develop through the formalities, but then you're going to see them as they really are in other moments, I imagine. We've reached it. Portugal's secret empire in the East. Impossible.、Oh. The orders are still on. What part of this is still on? <laughs> you're, in, you're imprisoned. We can still negotiate. We have goods to trade. Not、sure. to mention I speak fluent Portuguese. Tell them who we are. They don't know who we are because the rutters are still locked in the Captain General's quarters. Okay. We're just merchants, lost at sea. Happens all the time. We should be corpses by now, but here we are, shit smelling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. On a mission against a savage horde and the entire goddamn. Motherless, shit picking Portuguese fleet. Oh, wow, man. I'd say our chances are fair. 
What a big chessboard the world is. This is not where we die. This is where we live. You gotta be bold enough to believe it, man. Faith and determination go a long way. Oh my. Ah. Damn. Hey! I, that's right. <laughs> is everyone from Monarch gonna be in this? Oh man, no. Yeah. It's so simple, and yeah, I feel like you're rarely shown this. Yeah, of course, like these these families are arranged. Yeah. マリコ様の絵に強くありませんね。シャンディ。ノノノノノノノノ。生きる意味を失ってまでこの世にとどまるな。生きよと古名詞になった。不死との生きる意味とはございませんか。うふ。うふ。うん。ダンス。最後にこ
Huh. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit, dude! I have heard it said <laughs> that while Japanese audiences weren't enthralled by the original, it did depict the samurai code and lifestyle in a more grounded way, a more all-encompassing way, rather than just the mystique we know in the West for the ugly parts as well as the inspiring parts. <laughs> Uh, who are you? Huh. A servant who? of God. Who's ass? Your God. First make that distinction, you prick. Ugh. Ah! Jeez, dude. My name is John Blackthorn, pilot of the Erasmus, a Dutch merchant vessel. We were blown off course two months ago. Lies! No. Daxonka! Uh. They don't know about us, do they? <laughs> You've told them Portugal's the only flag in Europe, which means I am the first English sailor to reach your Catholic treasury, and you have no intention of translating my words. Oh, God. God. Whoa. Hey, Parley! Hey. Called that. <laughs> you will soon be executed, as will your men. Damn. I am not one of them, and I will not be spoken for by Catholics. Wow. <laughs> what is that going to be? Yeah, dude, you got cultural barriers, geographical barriers, language barriers, religious barriers, like watching the allegiances shift and supersede each other's fascinating. Ah, you're perfect. <笑><笑><笑><笑> Gotta be a well-rounded leader, all right. Huh. Yoshitoranaga. That's why you'll probably make a good one. <laughs> He's got to learn to stand on his own or grow in a different way. There's just such grand, beautiful locations they went to. Oh, no. Yeah, this is the guy who's being... Wow. Uh, oh, he's being oh. lit on fire. Oh. Are they got to throw him in that cauldron? <laughs> They're boiling him alive. <laughs> I did not know that they did this. I assume there must be a cultural accuracy to this. Wow. Just hearing his screams in the background. And you're literally in a tub of water. <laughs> uh. like, add a little fire. This could be you. <laughs> さほど長くは続かぬのでしょう。死の刹那というものに取り憑かれておられ、己の力が到底及ばぬ。どうやっても免れない有様になったとき、どう退治するかということに。Sure。え、that <笑> Is that him just banging out his last moment? I, that's what my interpretation Make was. Inarticulate. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> are, we, are we sweetening the deal here? 
何をしておるのじゃおうあうんやめますか<笑>続けよう<笑>はやんちゃういるさうう<笑>おおああ I have so many questions I'm gonna have so many questions I cannot wait for the comments to fill us in on stuff <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was a quite a while. Hear that lingering. Is that longer than average? Wow. How many of those do you have? Uh. Articulate after all. I heard a man screaming last night. It sounded as though he was in terrible pain. This is very tight. Uh, <laughs> I like his accent and his voice. Banjin no Fune no Koto, Toranaga Samoni, Ostaita Sano no Deco Salmas. Toranaga Samoa, Devoka Kyoki, Sadato, Asha Mosha Gitanoni, Omon Karatanosha. He's a man of honor and duty. Toranaga Samona Kyoto, Kanarazi Yak Satanarimasho, Isido Samaga Sida no Serio to Naramasho, Kiristan Bisho, Tasu to Taiji Senibonamas. I could get a new book. The Sosa and Motsu and Mazari Karamoshikta Matatonamas. Yeah, but if they. Let's <laughs> after. Uh, another? But if they got a ship with the the Christian weapons, could they save uh, Yoshi, or would they have no interest? It's all about power for them. Well, yeah, I don't know if they would want to. I mean, they could if they if the foregone conclusion doesn't come to pass. <laughs> yes. あの船には異国の船乗りに加え、鉄砲五百丁、大筒二十本、それに木銀数箱あると聞く。Let <笑> Ooh. His delivery is great. That means they have a source or a leak. Yep, there you go. A spy. I go nowhere until I see my men. Oh. Is he the pilot? Anjinka. Huh? Oh. Bow to the bastard Sama if you want to live. The money's like a king here. Uh, uh, uh. What's the latitude of the leisure? Of course, nine degrees. 56 minutes north and watch out for the reefs. South, southwest. Oh, they'll <laughs> send you a teach up. My God, you are a pilot. <laughs> sure enough. I must know if my crew is alive. Osama <laughs> Sama! Well, then good news. Only one of your crew is dead. And I first say they'll free the rest of them. Maybe it'll be nice. Oh. Where are we going? Osaka! Big city! The great Lord uh. Yoshi Toranaga wants to meet you. Yeah, buddy. I didn't catch your name, friend. Rodriguez. And I'm a Spaniard who sails for the Portuguese. I'm not your friend. Uh, yeah. Listen, English, no more tricks. I told these summers that I'd be responsible for you, so do us both a favor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, subtext for you're never seeing her again. <laughs> On my watch, at least. I mean, it's been fascinating to watch him sort of be passed around and watching all the uh, these different circumstances intervene to finally set him on this part of the journey. Whoa. Wow, man. I was not expecting a storm like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Agree. Listen to me. All of our cojones will be fixed. Please. Get them to roll. Can you swim? Don't you? Never learn. Yeah, yes. Jeez, man. This is your chance. You got to save this ship. What are you still doing up here, you pirate dick? <laughs> I love those their interactions. Well, I mean, out here you're you're on neither of your own home turf, so like you're both out of your depths. It weirdly becomes almost endearingly trivial. <laughs> oh no, did he fall in the water? 
Oh crap! This is this is quite convincing. This is really oh cool. yeah, well done. Yeah. Oh no, Rodriguez. Oh. Yeah, you picking it up. Is he going to jump in the water and save Rodriguez? I think he's going to steal the ship. I think Rodriguez is done for. Rodrigo Sama, your pilot is somewhere. For all we know, he could still be breathing. No, no. I don't care what sort of savage bitch that you are. Ugh. <laughs> I like this guy over here who's, uh, I forget what he said his role was now, but yeah, the guy who's kind of like keeping everybody in check. Oh, wow. My man, okay. Rodriguez! Move along! I'm only trying to get a look. <laughs> I'll bring him up. Ouch. It's like, dude, you're the second star of the show. We can't let anything happen to you. Yeah, we need you so the white people can identify with someone. Go on, savage. Maybe the fool will kill you before you drown. Ugh. Okay. I feel like he's probably got this, but I don't also, I don't know. This is good, because, like, yeah, we're now at a point where I feel like either of them could be right. Who knows a little bit more than the other? That rope does not look very stable. Oh, oh yeah, buddy. Oh boy, 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 boy. Oh, interesting. Oh my god, no! Holy oh. shit! How bad was that? Uh That's what I was saying. That rope did not look very stable. Well, or at least not enough to stand up to, yeah, like jagged friction. If you're not like really precise. Is he gonna have enough energy to climb up? Ooh. Wow. Damn. Yeah, man. you can see that tide really rising. You're gonna have to go down there. Oof. This is intense camera work right now. And, like, not that I've ever been in a swell this bad, but, like, yeah, when you're kind of caught up in the current of waves. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it does very feel like that. It's very sort of disorienting. And what the hell is he doing? Whoa, dude. Uh, he's on life. See, take me out. Yeah. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. Jeez. Saved by the rope. Interesting. Accepting death for but a moment. Almost got a chance to know. Would you have been articulate or not? Oh good. Is this the Damn, how old are you now? The daughter-in-law, this is the one they want back, right? Mm. I feel like they were already aligned against you before that, but that didn't help. Wow. Oh, oh that'll come in handy, what though. Perfect timing. Sure. その他に通じを頼みたい。俺とからの方々が通じ様を残してくださいましょう。死ぬ上がなくなって14年か。わお。14年と見つけてございます。ははは。They say how he passed. Conflict of faith and duty colliding in one. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
I am a Time Lord. That man was going to kill himself up on that cliff. He risked his life to save you. But he just turned and drew his blade. He chose his... What better end can a man hope for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. How can you just accept being powerless to this madness? Uh, you, you mean to this life? Yeah, I was going to say, that's life, man. <laughs> One cannot resist the unseen path of nature. And all we can do is accept our small part. It's bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> I fought too long, too hard to get here. I won't come to this madness. I won't. I can't. Keep I fighting. You washed up by accident. Ooh. Which means this belongs to you. Of all the Catholic bases that you and your so-called merchant crew were mm. put into the torch. I mean, real savage business, if you ask me. Oh, wow. Plunder any Spanish territory, reach the Japans, open trade in the new world. He's go to the Portuguese as soon as I arrive. Sure thing. Wow, man. Oh, my God. I will not die in this wretched land. Wow. We're coming into port soon. When are you going up there and tell me when you set eyes on Osaka? If you really think our world is the hint of civilization. <laughs> oh, fascinating. Yeah, because we've never seen the view of Osaka from this point of view. What kind of man wields power in a land like this? Stepping into a whole new world. Oh, no. oh man. On a magic carpet ride? Oh, wow. The one you never see. And you've had this guy's story kind of unfolding slowly in the background almost. Oh no. Oh my god, no. Out here that oh. every man has three hearts. Oh. One in his mouth for the world to know. Ah. Oh man. Another in his chest, just for his friends. Sure. And oh. a secret heart buried deep. Where no one can find it. Yeah. That is a heart a man must keep hidden if he wants to survive. Huh. I'm gonna find everybody's deep down heart. Wow. Wow. Dude, knows? the scope and cinematography Maybe in this show is. Brought you here mm. for a reason. Whew. Maybe you live long enough to find out what it is. Huh. That's your arc. Well, it's going to be an arc for him, but also, too, they're, I'm assuming they're not going to know right away who he is. Then it's going to be like a trail when they find out. That depends. I well, mean, we'll see. I don't know. I'm just project, I feel like, projecting some guesses. <sighs> wow. Good I for, feel like, yeah. Good no first episode, though. No uh, conclusions seem foregone the yeah, way yeah, that this yeah, is yeah. working. And I feel yeah. like certainly, I mean, him and, and uh, Hiroyuki Sonata have... A certain forward-minded vision. Very, very curious. Damn. Oof. I guess we'll just let the credits play because they're not rushing us past them yet. <laughs> uh, that was, yeah, that was very striking. Yeah. And two, like, you definitely got to pay attention. You know, they're they're giving you the credit. You know, they're they're letting this kind of unfold without too much hand-holding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, hey, we're trusting the audience here that... They're going to have to, uh, like you said, we're not going to hold their hands and they're going to have to just the pick stuff up that, on things. Yeah, the stuff that like, you know, oh, Atticus Ross was on the score too? Damn. I love Atticus Ross. A couple Ross. names, but I caught, caught yeah, Atticus I, Ross. I saw his name Nestor too. Carbonell. That is oh, his name. Oh, was he the, He's the, the mayor, mayor in The Dark, Dark Knight? Knight. Yes. That's why he okay. looks so familiar. Yeah. I was like, those eyes look familiar because he had the makeup eyes. Damn. The blackened eyes. I was like, I know that guy looks familiar. Yeah, what a okay. great little role. Damn. Well, I kept, like, once I saw him the first time, I'm like, I know I've seen this guy <laughs> yeah. somewhere. Oh, yeah, he's, he's definitely he's yeah. got that character acting yes, thing. Yes, but uh, Bane took care of him in The Dark Knight Rises, unfortunately. But, yeah, no, I, I liked his character a lot, too. And, obviously, uh, you could see the conflict uh, with having that information about him because, obviously, he knows that um, the pilot, you know, he did, even though he didn't go down there, he did find him and save his life as well, so... Yeah, and God, what does that even mean? All right, we're moving on to episode two now. Let's do this thing, Andrew. Andrizio. One and a two and a three. Is this our title sequence? No titles? One oh. year ago, flashback time, all right? Passing, yeah. Oh, my son. 
ろやさかに御仏を一死にお念じなされます八重千代はどこじゃさあ、ヒロユキ、さあ、ピブロモメント。おそれることはない。ちょうど日本まで変わるのじゃ。ピュアズレバー、ファインデュー。今のままでございますかあ。この手の爪はああ、ああ、ああ。人の世は妙なものよの。夢の中で見る夢のようなもの。But a dream within a dream, all that was and all that will be. 太鼓様はお一人になりたいとおせでございます。おぬしの側室になっていても不思議はなかった。Oh, no. それがし、美人にはとんと触手が動きませんよ。<笑>わしは大好物じゃった。Oh, no. <笑>共に挑戦を平定したかったのを、さすれば日の本はおぬしにくれてやったものを。Wow. いずれ、八重長様から配慮することにいたしましょう。<笑>うん、わしの息子、曲がりはうもめ、高のみの連中。Uh... Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> マコトの将軍と呼べるものがいなくなって。True s h o g u n a t e わしの一生は内乱を沈めるためにあったと言うてもよがろう。Huh. 今気がかりなのは日の本が。I mean, everything seems so tenuous. 大老なるものを設けたのじゃ。Five councils, right? やえちおが元服するまで。Oh boy. こう着状態にござりまするな。天下は日の元一の。<笑> as long as everybody agrees to follow that. Yeah, but that, that. <笑> but that plan only worked for about a year. やえちおを仲間からも守ってやってくれ。Because they felt he was、uh, uniting too much power against them. そして、肝心なことを国の頂きに立つもの。Oh, that, that is a true. good line.、Yeah. And he's got the furthest to fall. This is our Here titles. Here we go.、Yeah. <laughs> wow. Cosmo Jarvis. Pretty cool. Good name on that guy. And I love, love, love this music. That's so cool seeing the boat on the sand. Is that what this is? Sand, right? The flip was Grandma doing at the sand dunes. Wow. Cool title sequence. Yeah. That's so cool that Atticus. I have no idea Atticus Ross was working on this. Wow. That is such an iconic looking dojo. Structure. Yeah, structure. <laughs> Not every building in Japan has a dojo, Andrew. Well, that's why I, I believe, I believe I, the architect. I pause for like 20 seconds. Like, is that the proper term? <laughs> I mean, I know some Japanese architecture is pagoda, but I don't know if that's a good example of what that is. Again, this is a. Structure is. I, we'll go with structure. That sounds better. I was very engrossed in Japan and Japanese culture as like a young teenager, but, but yeah, I could certainly do with some knowledgeable resources. Glad they gave us that flashback. Chapter Two Servants of Two Masters. Oh, the, you can kind of see the paint. These journals are proof of his depravity. Look, Your Eminence. Sacked, slaughtered, and pillaged his way through Manila. A real piece of work, that one. Brutal, shall we? Manila in the Philippines? He will be angled for piracy. I'm afraid it may not be so simple. Torinaga is still president of foreign relations. Oh. He's a thorough man. I fear he'll want a complete translation of this journal. Perhaps a bit too complete. Uh oh. Accounts of our own atrocities, perhaps? Yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted an excuse to do that. 
Well, you know, this uh, pilot is not a man to leave his faith with God. I suggest you don't either. <laughs> Couple for the road. This bush was on the verge of open war. The last thing we need is any discussion of past tango. Yeah, you called that. Uh, well, then let us be grateful our visitor does not speak Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> for now. Oh, yeah, you know he's going to learn. I'm going to the castle where Torinaga has been sequestered. I'm to translate for him this afternoon. Are you? These are critical times for the mission. You will see to it this man is not a problem for the mission. Oh boy. <laughs> They're great at, at mounting all these, yeah, tenuous relations and looming tensions and ugh. <laughs> Should call him Hannibal. I always wanted to know what the theory behind these monk hairdos is. <laughs> え、マリコ殿がどう責してもかまわぬ。ポルトガル語の修行になるゆえ。オブコース。その他は師匠である。もったいないお言葉でございます。レディマリアのご同席を。ああ。おおボイ。ヒマストビディアンジ。What <笑> What did you just say? Exactly what you said. I will translate without prejudice. Uh, perhaps you would do me the courtesy of telling him we are enemies. Tell him yourself. The Japanese word for enemy is teki. Gesture at me and say the word. Huh. I may be your enemy, <laughs> John Blackthorn of the Erasmus, but I am not your assassin. Oof. That you will do yourself. Damn. This is gripping. Lady Maria, so this he wants to know why we are enemies. Because our countries are at war. England. <laughs> because England refuses to be intimidated by Catholic. Oof. We English are Protestant. Yes. Ooh. それゆえお前は海賊になったのか敵の家取りくに戦を仕掛けるために本気で信じてもいない神を。いや。I <laughs> 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 Then I would commend my soul to God, or surely I would die. Yeah. By the hand of a techie like you. The hand of an enemy like you. Wow. Oof. <laughs> Bow. Fast. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Very good Grumbling job. Like so, yeah, what's prison gonna look like for you? Lots of courtesans. I mean, pro, what's a prison? I'm a guest of your lord, not a prisoner. That'd be so tough as an actor, just having your hands bonded behind your back like that for so many scenes. <laughs> Oh god, let the child have some fun. Jesus, carry the weight of that. Not you, yeah. <laughs> Gotta go practice some more Portuguese. Mariko-sama. <laughs> 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 
野の御子を見ごもられたしず様もご同様いささかもお帰りになられませぬ<笑>あれは16年前でしたか黒田様が催された最後の宴でございました、うん、祝言をあげられたばかりで特別なお方だということわしの通詞に構うでないきり<笑>きりの方とお呼びくださりませ年老いておりますればあの絵旅立つ前にもっと大事にしていただかない<笑> Of course All the respect for you でもわしにとやかく言いたがる昔も今も殿には手が焼けまするお前の大きな尻と同じじゃ。あのよ。おお。おお。ええ。髪を下ろして、あのにでもなるほかございます。あおびへい。そなたの見立ては。正直なお方にございます。うん。あの偉人の方は。あの者には、用心せねばという気がいたしまする。おお、け。偉人が申したことを気に触ったか。試されて揺らぐような信仰は。まことなものとは申せません。Good way to put that。拙者の朝知恵など、殿の辛抱遠慮に及ぶはずがないことは百も承知でござる。さりながらこの一件、何の関わりがあると仰せでございましょうや。ほばんち。わしの孫が生まれ、落ち葉の方は、おろんわしは許した。許さねば、謀反とみなされようからな。そう。それゆえ我ら一度、大老衆からの切腹の沙汰を待つ身となった次第。さよ。Yes. しかし患者によればあの偉人を目の敵にしておるようじゃ。Uh-huh. まもなくキリシタンの大老を大坂に置くことに抗議してくるであろう。キリシタンの大老が出てまいるのでござるか。<笑> oh, putting it together. 殿に断罪が下されるの。残りの大老が結束して票を投じた場合のみにござりまする。殿はあの偉人を用いて、医師堂とキリシタンの大老との結束に。Damn. Told you, man's a strategist. サンクシー早くしろ Thanks, man. What's your story, man? Who are you? g a r c e f i e r Children of my flock, persecuted for their faith. Oh, I know this actor. He was in、uh, Fast Five, the bad guy. I'm English. The Jesuits put you here, too, then. Huh, huh. Damn Jesuits. I feel like the Jesuits have chilled out in recent years. Well, then there's been a mistake. I am a guest of a Lord Toronaga. I'm not meant to be here. And I must be allowed to leave. God, you are a child in the wilderness. You don't know their games. Yeah. Toronaga is a prisoner in Osaka Castle, isolated by his rivals on the Council of Regents. Oh, man. <laughs> They're Sugiyama, descended from the richest samurai family in Japan. Oh, no. A feared warrior whose affliction of leprosy led him into the arms of the church. Wow. Kiyama, man whose faith in Christ is guided only by his greed and ambition. <laughs> These are great close ups. All of them are in the palm of Ishido, caretaker of the castle. Any day now, this man will vote on Taranaga's demise. Damn. Yeah, Ishido's in all their ears. If Taranaga claimed you as an ally, you'll never leave Japan alive. Oof. Hope that's not a foreshadowing. Huh, it's a portent. Rin no kata wa tsuga naku o san mo ewa ko mo suko ya ka. Oyo tsuki no osebo wa edo hanarere yurishi o eta. Onaga sadame o uke ire ta yo ja na. Ugh. Ishido godono no kajitori no okage ja. Of course. レオモサレルナナトラナガトユジャマモノノイキノネオトメタカラミシテイタダコサンピオトーカー smile Are they aware that Toranaga like could have taken the leadership of and not had the whole thing assembled? He allowed that? カタズケトキタイコトガモザル This guy's real familiar too イタンシャノコトヨトラナガガオザガニマネキレタミトドケテマイタトラナガロークリンイタシマシタロニイレタダケテワタリヌノチヨヨヨなぶり殺しにしたと感化的な話もござるよ。なんだろうこと。証<笑>はござるのか。そやつの私的な所長を抑えてござる。Uh, uh. 我らはそのものの処刑を所望いたす。Yeah. Of course. 氷結の毎日。Oh man. 年を重ねるごとに見えてくるものがござる。トラナガが我らをどう見てるのか分かったような気がいたした。Perspective. 官僚でござる。いや。<笑>我らが正門に藩を押すまに、トラナガは我らが作る掟を侮り。Sure. 我らがデウスを侮辱し。はてさてオミラはパードルどもが積み上げる山ほどの献上品がなかったとしても。お、いや、いや。デウスとやらに忠誠を尽くされるのでござろうか。You knew that was coming. God's got deep pockets. Whoa! Yeah, it's like I like that they set up the screen and they don't even really clue you in as to what is why that character exists behind that. And getting that context here is cool. Toronaga was born in Minwara. For centuries, 
his ancestors dominated this country, carrying with them a divine mandate. Mm. The ultimate rank a mortal can achieve, Shogun. Ah, uh, okay. And Toranaga, does he seek this title? <laughs> nope. He rejects it. Who knows what lurks in the heart of a Minwana? Mm. It's nothing for you to fear now. You'll die a martyr on the cross, perhaps. Yeesh. On the cross? Subtle. You came here to wage war. And open trade routes. I would have stood by you. I came here in 72. Uh -huh. Clutching my rosary. Visions of the souls I would save. Then I learned the true tenets of the cloth. Silk, gold, and guns. These Jesuits care nothing for the souls. Woof. They made an idol of that cursed black ship. That's how they dominate trade. Damn. Chinese ate Japan. Uh. All trade goes for the Portuguese. It's usury. Leitako even tried to put a stop to it. Whoa. Whoa. The church incited the rebellion. Huh. Smuggled guns from that secret base in Macau. Wow. I met a man who said he'd been to that fortress, said there were Japanese soldiers, hundreds of them, all converted to Catholicism. Are you telling me the lords here don't know? Oh my god. It's too late for that now. You don't understand. I must tell them. Whoa. You can't play their game. Their rules are too opaque. Huh? Their hearts too guarded. You don't know me. Gotta find those deep down hearts. Also, too, he's got nothing to lose at this point. Well done. Then he just sort of been weaving their plans throughout the centuries, man. Wow. How many different ways I really bringing it to life, that 1600s look. The aesthetics and everything. Yeah, that guy said 72. I was like, damn, okay, so 1572 you were here? I said that, too, in my head. 28 years. <laughs> Oh, this guy. On your way to the castle, father. Good morning, captain. Huh? I, don't, I don't know what I've seen him in. Well, he does look familiar. I've had no word. As soon as Toranaga calls on me to permit the black ship to depart, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> Hearing the old monkey's not long for this world. Ugh. Church is doing all it can to keep your business running on time. Sure. <laughs> And which is your stronger tongue now, Portuguese or Latin? Oh. I have more occasion to practice Portuguese, but it comes slowly. <laughs> My surprise, Toranaga involving you in his affairs. I do not wish to translate anymore. I do not like this man, the way he speaks to you. You have always had good instincts yeah. about those with bad intentions. Of course. <laughs> that was a knowing look. The dark thoughts you have confessed to me in the past, are they still with you? Oh no, can I use those? I trust mm. you now, I pray for you. On this matter and others, especially with the heretic, whatever your heart tells you about him, he is guilty of worse. And so are we. <laughs> Lost in the mail. おぬしらが大阪へ連れてまいった偉人のことについて俺はただの海賊にございます。この人と<笑> やがて石戸様の力が最も強大になるのは必要。Uh, <laughs> Mm. Wow, this is a fascinating show. Like the way they're building and drawing the characters and the the ever moving tenuous allegiances or potential allegiances. Oh wow. Just a weary traveler. Whoa. Uh. Damn. <laughs> Who are these guys now? And are you part of this, or did would, they just take advantage of you being so here? I would imagine so he was part of that. That was the distraction. <laughs> yeah, but do they just take him everywhere, or is he just here incidentally, and they were like, this is good, we can use this. <laughs> Even got these guys under your thumb. Short, quick, and to the point. Nice action sequence. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. 
You shall be my salvation. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who's a good boy? Onawa <laughs> Inuja. Oh, Almost looks like a short haired Killian Murphy right now. <laughs> Sir, I want Jeez. a milk I want a milk bone. He reminds me kind of of Jack Rayner. <laughs> nah, what luck. And what an increased ability yeah, to spin these yarns. Good morning, senor. Hmm? I am to be your interpreter for today. Senor. My name is Todamariko. Todamariko. I shall be your love interest in this show. What are we up against? I know I am considered an enemy in your country, but I assure you my queen is wise <laughs> and would want to be your ally. Oh yeah, which queen are we under right now? Anjin ga zonji te oru. Oh. oh, interesting. <laughs> I like how the camera's just following it. Yeah. This is the limit of what I know. The earth is round. Like a fruit. <laughs> okay. Not a flat earther here. Japan is here. My country, England. It's on the other side of the world. We came by way of Magellan's Pass. Wow. We are the first outsiders to use it because the Spanish and the Portuguese kept it secret. It was safer to sail this way because we had to avoid the Portuguese base in Macau. Blasphemy. This cannot be. It employs Japanese mercenaries. Whoa. I'm told you call them Ronin. Oh, damn. Secret Catholic fortress. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I bet. Seventy years ago, they signed a treaty that split undiscovered land between them. Your country falls into the Portuguese half. So it belongs to them. Yeah. Wow. What a time. Yeah. You just find out that random people from across the world decided they own your entire country, your entire land. Over my Did dead body. Did he belong. really say belongs? <laughs> Over my dead body, it belongs to them. It's written into legal documents. Each Spanish and Portuguese king has the right to lay claim to any non-Catholic land they discover and to replace its government with Catholic rule. This is a lie. Nope. It reshape the world in our image. <laughs> Love. Yes, what do you seek here? I love the notes of these performances. Yeah. To vanquish our common enemies. <laughs> exactly what they told me. Unless I win. <laughs> that was yes. a great reaction by Hiroyuki. <laughs> that is the spirit, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the subtleties of his performance are so great. From the seething anger to like the knowing suspicions to the discovery of so many things. Oof. And I like too that her translation is different than the other guys. Is that his? That battle armor was ordered specially by Toranagasama after he saw it in a dream. It still goes back many generations. Oh. All the way to the Minowara Shogunate. Shogun. Shogun. <laughs> of course, you're learning that word. I wanted to thank you for translating so honestly on my behalf today. No thanks are necessary. My efforts are in service of my lord. Yeah. How long have you spoken Portuguese? 14 years, as long as I've been a Christian. But you speak very well. From the time your daddy died. I've already bathed. In the prison? No, in the village. But that was some time ago. Yeah. Uh, Two baths in a week. Uh, what, do you want me to catch the flux? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, t t times were a little different back then. My man, take uh, take it. take take the bath, man. Yeah, dude, you smell. <laughs> we can smell you through the TV. I know you hold these priests in high regard, but I beg you to consider their motives. Your lord is in danger, and I have a ship. Yeah. I would advise against speaking out of time. <sighs> and I got them twenty cannons. You will please address me as Mariko Sama. Mariko Sama. Got to build that trust, John. Yeah. 
Wait, do you see, see how many bats are taking the future? Manipulation. Oh, don't do it, don't do it. Yes. He's so intuitive. I love it. Yeah. Ooh, called out. We're on to you. Yes. I'm sure they're prepared for the eventuality of this discovery, but... He's denied our departure papers for the Black Sheep. This god cursed heretic doesn't even have the decency to ruin us slowly. Bad feeling. Let this be my yeah. father. Oh, this is one of the, the five guys. Yeah, burgers and fries. Damn, the plot thickens. It's a veritable stew. Oh well, yeah, they did say that guy was ruled by greed when they were going over the, the backstory or such. Someone going to try to assassinate him? What are you thinking about? Yeah. No! No! Wow. I didn't know that was a thing that would happen. What? Oh my god. Dang. At least he opened it the right way this time. Damn, what is the life of a female assassin? Whoa! Oh my god, the sprays! That looked authentic. That didn't. You see a lot of CG blood spray, but that was convincing. Man, she looks like the Terminator right now with those eyes. Yeah, just like fixed gaze, man. Whoa, wow, dude! Holy shit! No! Oh, oh, man, damn. Yo, did he get cut? I think so. You just earned yourself some respect right there. Earn yourself a little allegiance. Oh, there you go. God, the physical storytelling and like the, the stuff that's unsaid is, is lovely across this. Again, I love how intuitive he is. <laughs> like he could send something was up and he put a decoy in his bed where he was laying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she came for him. Yeah. Wow. You didn't even know you just got shell gamed right now. That was smart, though. That is wild. Dolly pan out. God. Good episode. Yeah, really watching them, like, test and, and you know, temper the board is fascinating. Damn, I didn't want that to end. <laughs> Me neither. Well, oh, we got to wait. We're going to say that after every episode. Yeah, now, like, now we got to wait. No, I mean, I'm happy to. I, yeah. I, I am actually, honestly, in this day and age, I love seeing something that is substantial that then I got to, you know, sit and reflect upon and just let kind of turn over in my mind until the next one. Like, yeah. Yeah. I was enthralled by this, man. Dang. No, it's really good. And I think you made a great point, too, where you were saying, like, I love how this is, the story is unfolding and the characters are developing and they're not really holding your hand. Like, there's a lot here that's happening and again it's just so much to unfold but you really got to pay attention because you can get so lost so quickly so but it's um again mm. I, I i don't know because i didn't like you i didn't watch the original or have not did you say that this was a book also yeah i believe so yeah so i i don't know how much homage it's paying to either of those but either way someone who's a complete newcomer to this and not really knowing the history it's just like i'm already vastly so invested in these characters the storyline and this world mm -hmm. so the show just did a great job of like immediately getting me into this world and just the world building and all that and I'm just enthralled by the performances as well as uh, all these actors and yeah. the storylines that we have, like, and all the, uh, like, uh, just, like, where everyone, like, the, the political aspects and uh, just, again, where everyone's trying to get their way in, in this uh, world. It's just, it's very fascinating to me. So, yeah, uh, man, absolutely. And it's also, too, for a show that uh, has an hour and ten minutes and an hour in the second episode, very well paced, I think, too. Um, and, yeah. And I think they do a really... Is this our preview for episode three? Nah, Should we probably not see that? We'll save it. Um, 
Uh, and in, in fact, if you're listening to this right now, uh, leave us a little rating on the Apple or Spotify if you're jumping into the audio review. Yeah. And uh, before we go any further, just a quick thank you uh, to the uh, you know uh, arms of the church that have made this video yeah. <laughs> possible. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Reject Nation. So today I want to share something with you that has been a wonderful addition to my health and fitness journey that I discovered during the holidays, and that is Liquid IV's hydration multiplier. I'm down to my very last packet, and I'm freaking out, but it's okay. I got more in the mail. Now, a lot of you have been so kind to notice how I've been working on my physical health. Thank you for all the compliments. And one thing I learned is that proper hydration is absolutely crucial, especially post-workout and pre-filming after post-workout. And my wife actually introduced me to this product, which is perfect because we not only only care about quality, but a good taste and quality product. So whether it's after a sweaty workout or just after, you know, a good night out, you know what I'm saying? Efficient hydration and replenishing electrolytes is key. You just feel better and it tastes fantastic. I can't emphasize that enough. Another thing that I'm always on the lookout for too is products that have zero sugar or zero sugar added because that's one of my main dietary restrictions throughout the week. And they of course got products that fit that description that also taste good too. So yes, thank you so much. So Liquid IV's hydration multiplier is in summary is they are a non-GMO electrolyte drink that delivers hydration into your bloodstream faster and more efficient than water alone. Because sometimes drinking a whole gallon is not always efficient, but in fact, it can provide the same hydration as drinking two to three bottles of water. I'm also big on efficiency. Plus it's packed with a lot of essential vitamins and we know vitamins are good for the body. It's vegan, soy free, gluten free, and dairy free. You can customize the water amount to your taste. Again, perfect for post night recovery, traveling, or just having a big night out. You know what I mean? No, I won't. So if you want to boost your support for the channel and boost your hydration game, go to liquidiv.com and use promo code rejects at checkout. That's liquidiv.com promo code rejects. And remember, liquid IV, it's not a real IV, but it sure feels like it. So stay hydrated, stay healthy, and let's keep crushing those health and fitness goals together in the year 2024. Thrilled to be partnering with a brand I've been using for nearly two years now, and that's Harry's Razors. I'm generally more drawn to anything that goes against the norm, and Harry's does just that in the grooming world. They saw the high prices in the industry and decided to blaze their own trail with quality and affordability. I keep a beer, but whenever you see these cheeks and the neck clean, and that's the work of Harry's right there. Keeps my wife happy, and Harry's makes it effortless. They're precision blades that cut smoothly with less drag, making every shave satisfying. And yes, it's versatile for other areas too, you know what I mean? So as a Harry's devotee, I can vouch for their value. You can experience unparalleled comfort and quality in your grooming routine where exceptional craftsmanship meets affordability, making a smart choice for a top-notch shave without breaking the bank. Their kits and value packs for shaving are unbeatable, but Harry's is not just about shaving. Again, they offer top quality, thoughtfully designed grooming products, including shampoo, conditioner, and amazing body wash without the premium price. Quality, affordability, that's a thesis of this. Now these I actually pulled right from my own bathroom. I regularly use their five blade razor with a nice weighted handle and their foaming shave gel. Man, this dead ball, it is a game changer. I just like the feel of it. Now I have to commit to keeping this in my hand the whole time because I'm not going to go to the bathroom in the middle of shooting this. The handles, they feel perfectly balanced. And the razor sleek design is a classy addition to my bathroom. And the quality of the shave, unparalleled. Got to reiterate, keep part of my weekly grooming ritual because their entire range of products fits seamlessly into my routine. Stuff no reshoots here. Their German engineer blades are durable and refill plans are economical. Rarely use the word economical, but I'm using it now. Plus, their commitment to high customer satisfaction and no risk trial makes Harry's a no brainer this gel really does feel good. Let me say once more, choosing Harry's means quality and affordability. By grabbing your $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash rejects, you're not only getting a great deal, but you're also supporting this channel. That's harrys.com slash rejects for your $3 trial set. Stay sharp and embrace the extraordinary with Harry's. Till next time, Reject Nation. Till next time. But yeah, no, what I was just saying was, uh, I think like it's so well paced for a show that is I mean, it's pretty much for the most part. I think you would agree. It's it's pretty much a slow burn uh, because there's not a ton of action. But they uh, need I, to tone down how quickly this story is developed. Yeah, but I right? like, I but I no but I like that when it's it's so like uh, it, the character development is so done. It's done so well, and like I said, the the storyline is so intriguing. I when it's done that way, I love slow burns like this. I uh, just oh, want to, yeah. yeah. When you when there's substance, yeah, when there's of substance yeah. to the to the burn, yeah, it, and, I, and I think yeah. something like this too is like it takes its time, yes, and it unfolds gradually. But there are enough people, there are enough players on the board to where there's still a whole lot to do. You know, it's like even though it is moving at a patient and a focused pace, uh, yeah, it's like all it's rich within that. You know. Uh, uh, 
I don't know, within that uh, rhythm, I would say. Um, but yeah, like, because this is too, is it's one of those things where similarly, like, I'm aware through cultural osmosis of the series, and I have, you know, the, the basic kind of familiarity with the time and place from social studies back in the day. But yeah, it's like I don't have the full grasp on, you know, the particulars of history and all that. And, and to be kind of thrust back into yeah. this moment that feels so well observed has been very thrilling to me because, I mean, certainly like it does ask you to pay attention and it is the kind of show that is dealing with a lot of political entanglements and, you know, the names of uh, family uh, lines and whatnot that you need to keep track of. And there are also, you know, dynasties at play mm -hmm. of the Shogunate here that, you know, he uh, they keep bringing up a particular name and I hope to have a better grasp on everyone's name and the and the names of the again significant players of the past as well um because yeah just like there's so many fascinating contextual elements and you're in a time and place where obviously we're removed we're, we're still discovering parts of the world you know in a in a civilized sense and i really really have loved the way these first two episodes are developing because they are, you know, this is a show on Hulu, you know, it's, it's still kind of authored in, in the West or with a certain, you know, Western sensibility on it, but it feels certainly as though this is also very much concerned with, you know, depicting and observing this moment in time authentically, or at least I would hope. And of course you guys can sound off in the comments and we can do our own reading as to what is authentic or, or, or what, but it does to me embody kind of a fascinating yeah, moment in time where all you have is people's patience sometimes. All you have is, you know, maybe the tenuous bond of a shared language or a shared faith, or, uh, you know, whatever it might be. And then also the ways in which all these different overlapping layers can create and or exacerbate conflict. You know, it's like when we meet Nestor Carbonell's character at first, it seems like he's going to be something of an ally. And it seems like we're going to maybe be able to put aside some of our prejudices because we are in a part of a wor the world where those things or at least in an apparent obvious sense are not really they're not really like at the forefront of the world you're living in, you know, you're in someone else's society entirely. So our petty squabbles about, you know, like, Oh, you're a Catholic, you're a Protestant. They feel very small until you realize then later, like, Oh damn, you know, the, the, the presence of, of these uh, Portuguese Catholics and stuff here is, you know, there's the one side of like, Oh, you know, we're just, again, we're opening up roads to the rest of the world and we're bringing you we're saving you with our faith and stuff like that and you realize oh no there are certainly monetary incentives for being yes. here as well and military incentives for being here as well and you're in a time where obvious to state the obvious but i think it does you know kind of really thrust you into a moment where yeah the world is reliant on what do we have letters or an occasional falcon you can send off with a message like you're very uh, kind of beholden to trust and people's accounts of things and uh, journals and it seems like it would be so hard to have the complete view of any culture or situation and just watching as everyone in that first episode kind of meets each other and you know are trying to basically instruct via the the norms of their own experience and quickly just evolving into calling each other savages and yelling at each other and you know, sort of getting violent until somebody is able to kind of direct the situation and then watching Bless uh, you. as, you know, those physical, uh, as the physicality of communication slowly gives way to, you know, actual uh, verbal communication when, you know, uh, heads are cooler and you've got characters picking up more of the language around. Like, I don't know, yeah, yeah just, just the way that it drew the portrait of the world at the outset, I think has been really engrossing because yeah, it's like, and from the West, obviously it's easy to be very fascinated by Japanese culture and Shogun culture and stuff like that. And certainly through a lot of our media, we get a glimpse that exemplifies a certain fantasy of the samurai of the Shogun, you know, this, uh, the sort of, you know, all encompassing, uh, blend of honor and, you know, philosophical consideration and, you know, uh, I don't know, moral code. And, and 
I guess the truth of the matter would have to be that, yeah, like some aspects of this life do lean into that, but there are many others that are just as susceptible to political machinations or greed or personal vendetta. And, uh, and yeah, I don't know. It, it, like, it, and even just watching as the agreed upon customs can kind of echo through a family. This one guy has an outburst out of passionate support for you know, his leader he only his family line. Yeah. And then you have this dual conversation that takes place where it's like, that was a brave thing that you did. However, under the system that we live in, that was rude, disrespectful, dishonorable. And, and now you'll have to end your entire family line. And they let yeah. that unfold in such a fascinating way across that episode. Cause it's like, it's not the focus, but the second that thing starts, it's always looming in the background. You check in with that guy, you see the struggle his wife is going through and the way that that compounds with the character of um, uh, Mariko. And, uh, and yeah, just like the, the way they draw like the difficulty of navigating the world at this moment in time alongside setting it in a way like I understood this is like, oh, yeah, John Blackthorne. Blackthorne? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. You know, it's uh, the sense I got from the original concept would be that like uh, in the 80s, I would imagine we're mostly following this guy as our protagonist in a more definitive way. Yeah. And I feel, I get the sense that this would probably be semi reworked to be like, we, it does feel like they've found a great balance between this being a story from the Japanese perspective in many ways, you know, the, the Portuguese and the English and the Catholics and the Protestants, these are all outsiders, even though, you know, one of our main players, you know, John Blackthorne is tied up in all that. He still feels like one of he doesn't feel necessarily like the main protagonist so to speak but i like yeah. that he does feel like a pivotal crucial character but not like oh we're gonna tell a japanese story about a white guy you know like yeah, it feels course. really white really savior. yeah and that's the thing is you can transcend all of these you know debates we get into on on social media and out in greater culture by just again tempering things and really you know I don't know, taking time in the crafting, and I feel like that's what they've done here. I've spoken so long, Andrew. Take no, it away from me. Take it away. No, you're good. Uh, but I agree with you, and I mean, I am fascinated whenever we do finish this show. I'm going to, I think I am going to go back and watch the original and see how they orchestrated that and see, sure. like, how big of a part John Black, uh, Black, Thorn, Blackhorn, what did we just say? It's either Blackthorn or Blackburn. I think yeah. it's Blackthorn. Blackthorn. I believe it's Blackthorn. Uh, but I, yeah, like, I, I do want to create myself a little study guide, yeah. too, because yeah. it's one of those things where, especially in the moment, like, and you are jumping in between languages, yeah. which I really appreciate. But yeah, I want to draw myself a little lay of the land, all the major characters and, and yeah, and allegiances it, or, or rivalries. It was interesting, though, with his character, just seeing like he had this plan, like once they were captured, like how he had this whole plan of just like, OK, we're going to gonna do this. And then it's like, OK, he's in a world that he doesn't like he doesn't fully understand. And now he's just like kind of just engrossing it. And now he's starting to understand it a little bit better. And then I really like. Uh, I love that exchange uh, where he was drawing the map and giving uh, yeah. Hiroyuki Sonata's character like an understanding, like, you know, dude, the Portuguese and uh, uh, what did he say? The Portuguese, like, they, they claim this land, right? Is that what he was saying? Oh, or? yeah. What is it? He said the... Uh, was it the Sp the Spaniards and, and the Portuguese, Portuguese like, drew a line yeah. across the world and yeah. said, yeah, you... Any any non uh, you know Catholic lands that you encounter, you they are yours. But I <laughs> you love, own but, that. Yeah, but I love because again, Hiroyuki Sonata's character is. I mean, he's already dealing with so much with the other four factions that are all obviously out to stop him, anyways. In terms of their, I mean, they're about to stop him from power or assassinate whatever they're about to do, or get rid of him. Uh, he's already dealing with that, but now opening his eyes to that whole situation. It's just uh, I just like how he's like. He's opening his eyes to another different situation. I just found that exchange just to be really interesting. Well, it's uh, a threat greater than our inter, yeah, inter than the civil war struggles. that we're already yeah. dealing with, you know, currently. Um, and uh, yeah, then it just opened up to that scene that where he was dealing with the church, and I just found that to be another fascinating uh, interaction again, where he's like, he's about to, you know, press the stamp or hit the signing button, whatever, whatever he's about to do, and then. You know they're like okay he's starting to get in uh he's starting to catch on now and then also on top of that we he's see that testing one this intel that, yeah, that yeah. blackthorn has given him yeah. yeah and then on top of that we see that one of the other five uh i 
forgot what, uh, but you know what I'm talking about. One of the other five the of five the regions. Regions, yeah. thank you. Uh, he's in on uh, the whole thing with the church too, because we saw that when they were talking about the backstories and they were kind of describing how uh, each of them are. Yeah. They said that this guy was specifically was extremely greedy, so it makes sense that he would. Uh, you know, be in tandem with uh, the church here on the monetary stuff. So. Well, and, and how that can be uh, like the all the inroad you need for this, you know, to sort of in, in, ingratiate and infest and, and sort of take control of your whole culture, you know, if you're not careful. And I feel like that that is one of the looming threats that I feel like kind of I'm I, like it, it, I, I love the position that we're in right now because we have such a clear sense for what the tensions are here in japan between mm -hmm. these you know f these five regions these five you know clans uh and now we have this greater more vague threat from the outside and yeah you are just sort of limited to sometimes your own geographic like the knowledge that you could see in front of you you know you they're none the wiser that there are these uh you know, uh, bases guarded by Japanese converted uh, Ronin uh, soldiers and stuff like that. Like, it's so wild. And I wonder, it's like here, as of these two episodes, again, you have a very clear sense of the allegiances and or tensions at home. But I wonder, uh, you know, and this could totally break out into a civil war and then some, or it right. could be sort of... Uh, the uneasy navigation of these conflicts in order to put them aside to combat, you know, a greater threat to our culture, our way of life. Our, and, and, and I, I mean, I, I have no idea obviously, but I too look forward to how it will continue to develop the characters because I yeah. feel like you do have, it, it's at least giving me a lot to chew on right now because even though, yeah, certain people do seem more treacherous than others or more overtly antagonist than others, uh, like his, the guy, um, uh, and, and again, I'll, I'll hopefully have the names better as Paul we Black go Thorn. along. Uh, no, the, the guy who is Hiroyuki Sonata's, um, Yoshi, uh, to ah, yeah, I just know Yoshi's, but his, the guy who is his like his right uh, his, his general the or guy whatever. who is his faithful but who's also running between him and uh the main regent who's got it out for him yes from Monarch. i know which guy you're talking the guy about. who orchestrated the the thing with the bandits so that they could get blackthorn and all that yeah i know which guy you're talking yeah about. it's like that's a character where i'm sitting here wondering okay like i could easily see how you are perhaps just an opportunist who is going to you know side with whatever gets you the better reward and or right. the greater boost politically or the greater armor politically speaking mm -hmm. uh you know, it's like i could definitely see how you might be a snake in the grass here or i could see how you might be straddling that line only to have some kind of subsequent moment down the road that really does bring you back to the Hiroyuki Sonata character's yeah. side, you know, or to like he's, a real allegiance to he's him. He's definitely got redeeming qualities to him for sure because they they were towing the line with that character because at first I was like, And Wait, he's sitting yeah. there listening to that guy die. Yeah. Like, he, like, that's very sinister, you yeah. know, in a lot of ways. And, and those are all flavors and notes of like in certain scenes you can forget about that. And then you're yeah. reminded like, oh, but I sort of know what darkness lurks in this guy and what opportunism lurks in this yeah. guy. And... And I think it's really nice because, again, this seems like the kind of show that is apt to give you, yeah, characters that aren't 100% agreeable or not in any particular way. And it just depends on, yeah, experience and, you know, moments where it really counts. And, like, I really have enjoyed watching, again, the sort of physical growth of these relationships and characters yeah. thus far in ways where, yeah, dialogue is part of it, but oftentimes it is not all of it, and it's mostly about actions and about the exchange of information. And, yeah, like it's, fasc it's a fascinating game of chess to watch that also does come with it a sort of emotional weight that I'm also curious to see confronted because this is a society that has a lot of formality and a lot of etiquette to it that can be stifling, that can be narrowing in many ways. Yeah. And I'm curious to see, too, how the emotionality that is often held down in favor of, again, you know, polite society, so to speak, or like refined yeah. society, so to speak. Yeah. I wonder how those things will boil over and, you know, challenge the status quo because you know again you've got these two central figures 
uh, who are, you know, forward minded or who are looking to the future and who are a little tired of the brutality of the present and the past. And uh, to the like I said, there wasn't a ton of action in these two episodes, but when they did get to the action, just extremely violent. And <laughs> I mean, to say the least, like those squib shots that they have so convincing. I forgot I was while when I, spray. Yeah, when I was boy. watching this, I, I forgot I was watching a show. It looked so damn organic and real. It was impressive. I don't know how they uh, it has to. were able. Yeah, well, of it course. especially has to when you're in but, a time like this. Yeah, of course. Where, but I'm just uh, I'm just uh, praising. Like, I don't know how, how they were able to, to do it so genuinely real like that that was just impressive also too um i know it's not an action sequence per se but when they were in that storm i don't know again i yeah, don't know if they were in a tank piece. uh but what, what however it was done that was that was damn impressive i mean it has not for the most and and in those shots you can sit there and go like oh okay so maybe they were you know in a real hull and then they have perhaps a green screen of the sea out the window or something, but like the, whatever it is, it, it it's, felt real. Yeah. It seems like the balance between how they're using their sets and their, you know, practical physical elements on hand and then blending the, like I, I haven't been sitting here feeling like we're in the volume, you know, yeah. and there are certain things that have taken place at yeah. sea in recent memory that have made me feel like we're in the volume and, and this, yeah, that sequence where he's trying to save the ship and everything and it's and it's you know being cast off course by the currents and he's trying to tell the guy like just turn the rudder into the swells you know uh yeah like that was really kind of a breathtaking sequence and yeah for you know a program i know that the profile and the budgets for shows have risen uh, immensely in recent years but again i feel like this is a show it exists in a in an era of time where i just think that you have to it, it's weird. It's like a CG blood splatter to go back to that example plays differently in something that's set now than it does in something that's set way back when. So it feels like th things have an onus to be even that much more tangible and not done in a computer to really kind of do justice to what is happening or what is being depicted. And I feel like they're so far pretty on point with that stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just excited to, to see more and learn more and, and yeah, to, to get, better senses for the history and, and again like if you guys have historical resources you yeah. want to throw down in the comments please do no there's so much um, too that i'm looking for. i mean i can't i can't name everything that i'm looking forward to because there's so much but i would say the biggest thing i'm looking most forward to because i'm as y'all know i'm <laughs> mostly it's relationship based for me and it's the development of the relationship between uh hiroyuki sonata and uh paul blackthorn john uh, blackthorn john blackthorn that <laughs> Of course, I said Paul Blackthorne. That's the actor from uh, uh, Arrow, I believe. But uh, anyways, I'm looking uh, that that relationship really intrigues me because, yeah. I, again, I really enjoyed those interactions. Um, so I'm looking forward to the development of that relationship, especially just because, again, I, I really love that map scene and just how it really opened his eyes even more because he's already an extremely yeah. intuitive character. And just like, again, when he saw like the the possibilities of just what's happening with the church and the monetary stuff and just like. You know, now he's trusting his gut even more so. And just like, yeah, how there's an inner conflict now with one of the regents. Like he doesn't you know, obviously, to, yet. Yeah. But like, again, I'm just I, I'm just extremely like the possibilities of just that the development of their relationship. I'm looking most forward to. But again, there's so many different other layers and pieces and things that I, I, I'm intrigued to see that this show has me on just like. Yeah, uh, it's super pumped. I'm loving it so much so far. It, it's basically to me like the the sign of a good show is when it ends. You're like, oh, yeah, no, right. please keep going. I so. was just so engrossed. Yeah, yeah I didn't even think it would stop that. Yeah. Like right where it did. But yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm very much looking forward to the future. And and I think they've done a really nice job in the the direction of everything, the pacing of everything, and the, the music cinematography, by Attica, the Atticus music. Ross and the other two composers. We got to learn the other two's names. Yeah, so, sorry to the uh, other two. We just we know. Attica. Guess but so. but yeah, like all the construction and and again, I think big props to the writing as well. Uh, the yeah. cast certainly, but the writing as well because I do feel a really keen hand on. Like again, as you said, it's not filled with action. There are some you know very gripping sequences of action. Yeah, but uh, the tension I feel like is always there. Oh yeah, and you're always feeling just how thin the lines are between certain death and salvation and the tenuousness of again people's allegiance is based on religion and or geography and yeah. or culture and or country and or you know all these different things and i like that it's depicting a world where yeah there is a hierarchy of those things it's not just that you're one and that thing that um 
the Mariko character is confronted with at one point is, you know, are you more, uh, you know, committed to your God than you are to your duty to me? And that's a different right. answer for everybody. And you feel like that yeah, is I like that inner conflict, a, a question that will have different answers on different days and will probably change a lot. The answer will change a lot over the course of this. Of and, course. and then you realize, too, that, yeah, like so much of history and human endeavor it is hanging on threads. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, yeah, totally. You feel uh, at the brink of so many things across this. Yeah. And also to last thing, I, I got to say that one shot cinematography wise where they're in the prison yeah. uh, with John and then it's like cutting or not cutting rather. It's like just turning through the prison. Then you see the yeah. beheading. That was an impressive yeah. tube shot. I was Ooh. like, that was extremely gripping, but yeah. Yeah. I can't wait for the next episode. Absolutely. What do you guys think of this? Leave us your thoughts down below. And, uh, yeah, we will catch you. Uh, I mean, as this is going up, we'll probably catch you pretty soon. And yeah. then after that, we'll catch you very, next very week soon. and next week and blah, yes, blah, blah. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Much love. Be well.